What's up, you guys? It's Ness. I've been meaning to make this video for a while now. People have been asking me, how do I like LA? Like, how have I been liking it? How have my feeling about it? And uh, I didn't really know how to answer that question, but I've been living here for about six months now, and I can just, you know, honestly break it down into like six things. So here is six things that you should know about LA before moving here as a creative in 2022. Number one is the flaking culture. Flaking out here is so common. It's kind of like, you know, it's embedded in people's blood and skin. It's crazy. Go through the whole process of setting up meetings, conferences, text messages, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, mood boards, and people just flake. You know, when you first get out here, you're trying to set up, you know, as much shoots as possible. You're trying to link with people, connect, collab. I can honestly say in the six months that I've been living here, I probably only worked with like a handful of people. And I literally mean a handful of people. And that's crazy in a span of a six month period. You know what I'm saying? I am no stranger to reaching out to people and trying to build a network. But when you come out here, I promise you do not take anything as if it's guaranteed. I'm I like, yo, even if you're getting paid for a job, don't even take it like it's a serious like you know job or 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 gig or whatever it is that you're coming out here for until you have your deposit other than that everything is subject to flake everybody is subject to cancel or just not say shit you meet solid people out here it will be like you know one in a million type shit definitely big heads up on that you know what i'm saying flaky dakey flaky Number two on my list of things about LA is everything is expensive. The cost of living out here is crazy. Uh, for my apartment, two bedroom, two bathroom right now um, in the area that I'm living in is about like 3,300. Yeah, it's way more expensive than when I was living on the East Coast. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I used to live in Jersey for those of you that don't know. Um, and I lived in a loft and my loft was about like 2,300 and that was cool. You know what I'm saying? It was like 750, 800 square feet. Uh, one bathroom, one bedroom, big ass living room, high seven foot ceilings. And it was like, you know, 2300 gas is expensive. Food is expensive. Just to go out and eat is expensive. Everything out here is expensive. And when you're uh, calculating your budget or, you know, trying to save up X amount of dollars, you have to account also for your cost of living. Gas right now out here is like five, six, seven dollars type shit. It's crazy in certain areas. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm not rich. You know what I'm saying? I work for my money. You know what I'm saying? I'm a creative. I'm an entrepreneur. So everything's expensive. Be very wary. Number three on my list is the homeless. The homelessness is crazy. It's almost like you're living in a third world country. By me, there's like a whole strip under this little bridge of just tents and it's crazy like the minute you walk past or walk to a certain point to the corner you just smell a bunch of piss and shit and all type of stuff and it's it's like you know it's crazy you know what i'm saying like back where i'm from on the east coast you know what i'm saying north jersey around that area like you know you're gonna see a couple people a couple fiends you know what i'm saying like nodding off doing what they do you know what i mean but they in they out the way they in the tuck they in a certain area out here you can live in a nice area and you're still gonna encounter a bunch of homeless people which is you know what i'm saying the homeless people are people too i understand but when you're paying these high prices and this a lot of this money like you want to be able to just walk down the street and enjoy your walk and stuff like that without seeing smelling or dealing with a bunch of like you know random shit another example of dealing with the homelessness is like you'll be inside your apartment and at any point in time during the night or day you'll hear somebody just yelling or screaming some random some random ass shit <laughs> that you had no idea like you don't know what's going on and then when you look outside they're just talking to themselves the first time you experience it you're gonna be like yo what you know what i'm saying so um the homelessness is something that you should definitely be uh aware of and i know i know a lot of people talk about it but like it's getting worse bro it's getting worse it's crazy you know what i'm saying number four on my list of things about la that you should know about is the garbage the garbage is crazy out here you know what i'm saying garbage cans in certain areas will just be kicked over or you'll find people rummaging through garbage and just throwing it all over the floor i'm not saying that i came from the best place you know ever you know what i'm saying like new york and jersey and stuff like that there's still garbage all, like you know in areas but not like this it's really crazy bro like no to no exaggeration i know a lot of people like to visit la and stuff like that but when you actually live here bro it's a whole different ball game so just prepare yourself mentally for that prepare to see it you know you know number five on my list of things at la the air quality and the weather is always damn near shitty you feel what i'm saying i like to run a lot i go outside and i work out a lot you know what i'm saying and being that there's no seasonings out here the air doesn't get like cleaned or siphoned through you know what i'm saying the weather the natural weather and stuff like that there's always smog in the air um if it's not sunny then it's misty if it's not um raining it barely rains let me just tell you that it barely rains out here it doesn't rain often and when it does um the day is just really shitty you know what i'm saying uh who doesn't enjoy a rainy day once in a while but the rain out here is just uh just doesn't make you feel good real quick funny story i was actually telling my boy that after i finished working out you know what i'm saying i might actually get down and hit a couple of push-ups his immediate response was like yo you actually touched the floor out here i was like yeah why not you know what i'm saying i'm outside i'm in nature i'm in you know what i'm saying i'm getting it you know what i'm saying he was like yo like it doesn't rain out here bro i was like what you mean 
I was like, ain't that? I was like, that's good. I like the sun. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I like to work out. It's hot. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, nah, I mean, like the rain washes the sidewalk out here. It doesn't. The sidewalk doesn't get washed. So if you're, if you see some shit on the floor, and it's actually when I say shit, it's not dog shit. It's human shit. When you see some shit on the floor, that shit is gonna stay there for like days, months. You know, when you're running and you're taking deep breaths, you smell it. You smell like a bunch of different things. You smell piss. You smell shit. You smell garbage. You smell. It just doesn't smell fresh outside. It felt. It smells very stale sometimes, and uh, you just don't get that breath of fresh air because you don't get the seasons. So you know, that's another thing to be wary of. The air quality and the weather is uh you know shitty so yeah and last thing on my list of things that you should know about la before moving here as a creative is the crime uh the crime rate is crazy and it's going up it's 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 shot up so i don't recommend anybody coming here and leaving anything in your car or being in areas that you're not supposed to be in uh it's not safe and uh if you don't have to go somewhere Yo, stay like stay indoors, bro. Stay indoors unless you go into like a studio space or you know a private space that's secluded. And uh, you know it's like just you know what I mean. Don't leave anything in your car. Be wary about your surroundings and so on and so on. So I haven't encountered anything. You know what I'm saying by the grace of God, it keeps me safe. But um, don't think you're moving from somewhere to come somewhere else and it's gonna be better. And this is just LA that I'm talking about. I'm not, I don't I don't know how everywhere else in California is set up, but this is just LA that I'm talking about. You know, I just wanted to give you guys my take on LA as a creative that just moved here six months ago and I'm uh, not really enjoying it. I thought I was gonna love it here, but you know, you never really know until you actually move here or, or, or make the move, you know? With that being said, before you move to LA, make sure you know that you wanna come here and do your research and just come out and fill out the place first. Stay for a little bit. Don't just come for like a couple of days and be like, like, yeah la is lit you know what i'm saying because uh it's really not you know what i mean and uh unless you know people out here that are going to put you in position and stuff like that i didn't i just came out here cold turkey um i knew a few people out here but i don't really like to piggyback off of you know favors and stuff like that too much i like to you know fill out the area and do what i got to do before covid like la was lit when i first came out here before covid i was like yo this is where i belong oh my god you know what i'm saying damn but you know what i'm saying now that i live out here i'm just like yeah yeah that's about it um, other than that, I'm blessed to wake up every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm blessed to be able to even have have uh, made this transition. But uh, on those fronts, it's a no for me, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's about it. That's all I got to say. So, peace.